You know, I knew that you, know, you need a quote unquote backup plan playing sports. Um, you never know what can happen. And, you know, we're not playing like a basketball or hockey where you're making millions of dollars, right? I need to have a. <laughs> so it was something that I knew I wanted to have uh, in my back pocket when I was ready to retire from volleyball. Josh Binstock is one of Canada's top beach volleyball players. He's also one of the few athletes at the Games who has started a second career outside of sports. He's a chiropractor. And so what skills did you learn within the sport of volleyball that you found transitioned really well into your career as a chiropractor? Uh, I mean specifically the hands, kind of like the pressure and the, the technique, the flow, uh, it's really similar, you know, like the same thing with hockey and, chiro and uh, volleyball, you need to have, you know, the, the skill where it's like you're really aggressive but also you need the soft gentle touch as well. And uh, I find the therapists that are the best at what they do is they, you know, accomplish their goal of uh, treatment and healing um, but with minimal force. Matthew Guest is playing in his third Pan Am Games. Here's another Canadian athlete who has landed a parallel career. He works as an emergency room physician when he's not playing field hockey. What have you learned within sport that is transferred, do you feel, to your career as a, you know, as a physician? I think decision making is a big thing, right? Like, in, especially in our sport where you're, there's, there's a thousand variables a game, right? So it's not, it's not just one thing. It's not you get in and you just go about your job and it's doing that for an extended period of time. Minute one, there's a decision to make. Minute two, there's a decision to make. And obviously, medicine, there's decisions to make all the time. So I think learning to, to deal with those decisions in a stressful environment, whether that stress be the stress of someone's health or the stress of competition and being able to keep yourself calm um, to make the, the right decision and the decisions either in your teammates' best interest or in patients' best interest, I think there's a lot of overlap in that. Perhaps the biggest challenge for high-performance athletes is to make a career transition when training and competition ends. Josh and Matthew are among a minority, those who have begun a career transition while still being active in their sport. My hope is that this will inspire more athletes to think like Josh and Matt. Please share this with an athlete you love.